yesterday I made a video because I was like really concerned about a dog's welfare while I was grooming him and I didn't post it because I wanted to wait until the mom had taken him to the vet so we could get a better understanding of what was going on. I'm going to show that video so that you can see what I was looking at and why I generally was concerned. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what the vet said it was. I have to show you what's all over this dog. It looks like blood blisters and they're literally all over the place. Um, I found some next to his rectum, on his tail. Hold on, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Can you guys see all these little red spots everywhere? This is like all over his body. They're everywhere. And I have absolutely no idea where, they're, where it's coming from. They're on his ears. And that looks really bad. Like, I have no idea what that is. After I showed the dog owner, like, what was going on with the dog, she immediately contacted her vet, and they weren't able to get him in the same day. But she took him in this morning, and the vet said that what was on him was bruising because the dog has no platelets in his body. At first glance, all of those spots, somebody could say, oh, the dog has clipper burn or it's a skin irritation. I thought that he was having some sort of a reaction to possibly the shampoo, but then I thought to myself, I've always used this shampoo I've never done anything different. Like I've, I've been grooming this dog for almost four years and I've been using the same products on him the entire time. And Clipper Burn, it doesn't look like that, right? So there was definitely quite a little bit of alarm bells going off, like something is wrong. So I'm really glad that we figured out that it's something to do with his platelets being so low. But if you see this on a dog that you groom or even on your dog, definitely take your dog to the vet and get it checked out because it is a serious issue.